Hey guys, I want to do a quick review on this, uh, one of these Holtz former mills. Um, I've had a Granberg ever since I started, uh, 36, and um, very happy with it. Whenever anything breaks on it, they uh, ship me a new one. Uh, the only thing I've really had break is these little U-bolts had two of them break um, but does a terrific job dimension wise it's right on mills flat it's rugged I mean it's been out in some really rough places and it's done a terrific job for me can't complain about it one bit now I needed I got in some uh, big ash logs and some big oak logs that were going to be bigger than my capacity so I decided to grab one of these 48 inch Holtz Foreman mills knowing that I wouldn't use it a whole lot and I'm going to give you a quick review on it um, just start with the good I guess uh, the good is it came quick and it's cheap um, it seems fairly sturdy the thing that I like about it the most is if I want to I can just take these rails off throw them on my Granberg and turn the Granberg into a 48 um, what I don't like about it, and these reels I have sourced them through eBay, and you can buy them for about fifty dollars uh, in forty-eight inch lengths. So you can just buy the rails; you don't have to go through Granberg to get them. Um, what I don't like about it is, first and foremost, and I went back and forth with them and fought with them about it, but they weren't going to do anything. Is that they put the freaking heads? on the clamp bolts on the bottom and welded the nuts on the top well that's just the dumbest friggin setup on the face of the planet um, if you get this these are gonna have to be cut off right away flip them upside down weld them on the bottom same thing over here I sent them pictures of both they just either it's a language gap or they just don't care uh, I got it on the Black Friday sale it seems like whenever you buy anything from them on a sale you're gonna get all the problems that people have had so if you plan on building any of the 660 saws uh, don't order them on the sale just order them straight up from when them when they're not on sale you'll get all the new updated better parts and uh, it'll save yourself a bunch of headaches if you order them on the sales Black Friday or um, Father's Day where they're where they're you know 20 30 bucks cheaper you're gonna get all the problems with the kit all right so I ordered this one on the black I mean on the uh, on the Black Friday sale and I don't know if they you know on their drawings and stuff and on the manuals it shows them the other way but it is what it is I'll just cut them off and weld them on the bottom um, the other thing I don't like is on these there's no clearance underneath um, now it looks actually it looks like there is right now, but um, You have to kind of angle them a little bit, but you're gonna have to grind out You have to grind out um, Underneath these nuts to give yourself room to get on them. I'm able to tighten them like this But that's not gonna work forever. There's not a whole lot of nut left sticking out past that Same thing over here. It's not really a whole lot of nut left um, there is a little bit of room under these, but not a whole lot. So you can do them with the scrunch. I'll show you what I use um, to adjust the mills. And if you don't have one, if you're new to this, you need to get one. Is get one of these half inch or 13 millimeter with the ratcheting box end on it. Um, it's way faster. Kind of makes you like an indie pit crew when you're doing it. Um, but that's what I want to show you. I will tell you, I just milled off this big ash with it. It was really stable. Uh, went right through it. Seems like it did a pretty flat job on it. Um, I didn't feel any problems with the mill. Didn't feel any real flex. Uh, guys building some countertops with this ash on just out here knocking them out for him so he can pick them up tomorrow. But, uh, so that's the deal. 
uh, 48. I don't know if anybody else has had this problem, but I know a lot of you were talking about buying mills and what our other options are. My recommendation would be this. Buy a Granberg. If you can't afford to buy a Granberg, this will work. Once you start making money with this, buy a Granberg. They're a better mill. Um, that's, uh, that's my two cents. Hope you guys have a safe day. And uh, I'll do one probably on these kit saws too. I've actually built and modded a bunch of them. Um, I can tell you this was the first trip with the 42 bar on this one. And uh, it, it pulled the 42 through 38 inches wide ash like nothing. I mean, I went through it on, uh, I can show you, I have not put gas in this or anything. But, I don't know if that shows up on camera. I mean, I've still got half a tank of fuel in this saw. Uh, that is, um, I don't know, 12, 12 feet long, just a little over 12 feet. And part of it was right at 36 inches wide. And, you know, the ash is pretty hard. I know there's a big punky spot in the end there, but you guys can see I didn't cut through it. So, um, you know, these things, uh, I build them in 99 cc's. I order them with the big bore with a 56. So when I get the kit, I have a 54 and a 56. And I've got three in different stages of mod. Um, you know, from a all stock build all the way up to a fully modded build. And, um, you know, I've got over a year on two of them. I don't even know how many hundreds of tanks of fuel through them. Um, not a single problem. Um, but I'll do, I'll end up doing a video on these things too to show you what to replace because these are rapidly uh, moving towards steel saws and any any time that i replace something i just go to the steel dealer and grab it so it's got a lot of steel stuff on it um but i'll go through that another time just wanted to do something on the mill here so um hope you guys have a great day you see the dogs running around see ya